Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Stephen. Happy Friday to you, Lewis. I'm very excited tonight. We have we have two guests here on at the same time tonight. Yeah. Just uh, first of all, John C. Riley is going to be on the show tonight. Uh, to a very special, very special, very special appearance on the show. But also. Uh, uh, two extraordinary uh, artists and Americans in their own right, Ken Burns and Mandy Patankin, are going to be on here tonight. Talk about a new program. Yeah, it's going to be good. Ken's new film, Ben Franklin, which starts Monday on PBS. I'm a big Franklin fan. Yeah. Do you like Franklin? I like Franklin. <laughs> Ask me if I like Franklin. You like Franklin? I don't know. I've never Frankled. I heard that joke on The Muppet Show in 1977. And <laughs> really? I remember thinking, that is the greatest joke ever written. I don't know, I've never frankled. I've never frankled. As yeah. a verb. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, uh, you know, folks, I spend most of my time right over there, mining the day's biggest, most important stories, collecting the finest, most topical iron ore, hand hammering it into joke panels. Then I craft sheets of bronze emblazoned with patterns that tell an epic tale of conquest and glory. Then, using the Germanic tradition press blech process, I place <laughs> thin sheets of foil against the scenes, and by hammering or otherwise applying pressure from the back, I project these scenes into a pair of cheek guards and a faceplate. And finally, using fluted strips of white alloyed molding, I divide the designs into framed panels and and hold it all together using bronze rivets to create the beautiful and intimidating Anglo-Saxon battle helm that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, Sometimes, just sometimes, I come to my senses fully naked on the deck of a pirate-besieged melee container ship that picked me up floating on the detached door of a porta potty in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> then, after a sunstroke-induced realization that the crew of this ship plans to sell me in exchange for a bag of oranges to fight off scurvy, I lead a mutiny using only a PVC pipe and a pool chain. Then, accepting my new role as captain and declaring myself king of the wine-dark seas, I grab a dirty mop bucket covered in barnacles and adorn it with the teeth of the vanquished to create the sopping wet pirate crown of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. That was fun. That was fun. Right there. That's it. That's home base. Meanwhile. In medical news, deadly sea snail venom is being targeted for future painkillers. Because as we know, there is no more reliable painkiller then death. <laughs> Apparently, the cone snail's venom contains chemicals called conotoxins, which the creature uses to paralyze its prey. And a modified version of the poison could form the basis of future drugs capable of blocking pain. Should be an easy sell. Hey, not feeling well? Can I interest you in some poison? No, oh, I forgot to say, it's modified poison. Wait, come back. It might paralyze you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vacuum cleaner maker Dyson has come out with a new set of headphones with an attachment that blows filtered air at your face, which they are calling the Dyson Zone. Okay, that's great, but they should fire whoever didn't think of calling them nose-canceling headphones. <laughs> the new... <laughs> that's... The new Dyson Zone is perfect for anybody who has ever thought, I want to look like the offspring of Daft Punk and Bane. <laughs> Meanwhile, in British romance news, a metal detectorist had to come to the rescue when a beach proposal went awry. First of all, I did not realize a person who owned a metal detector was called a metal detectorist. <laughs> I thought they were called your Uncle Keith, who's been going through a lot, so let's just have him have this, because at least it's not hurting anyone. <laughs> the incident... That's Keith. That's Keith. The incident happened when the couple lost their ring in the sand on the beach near Cleethorpe's Lincolnshire, England, which is the most British-sounding town since chimney swept upon Crumpenbury Heath. <laughs> Meanwhile... Positive drug tests for U.S. workers have hit their highest level since 2001, according... <laughs> according to a, an analysis released Wednesday by Quest Diagnostics. Or as they're better known to U.S. workers, a bunch of snitches asking for stitches. <laughs> Meanwhile... Woo! 
Meanwhile, in confectionery news, someone's selling counterfeit Wonka bars to UK shops. And for anyone duped by these fake Wonka bars, a spokesman offered this apology. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. We'll be right back with John C. Riley. We made a bunch of movies. We're going to talk about our movies.